TIFU by lying to my wife for 13 years. TIFU by lying to my wife for 13 years. My wife hates orange and lime flavored candies. I love them. Well, love the orange, like the lime. So, she passes on the orange starburst to me. She passes the orange and green skittles to me. She passes the orange and green gummy bears to me. This has been happening for 13 years. What she doesn't know is that the green Haribo gummy bears are actually strawberry. Shortly after we married, for one reason or another, I looked at the back of the Haribo gummy bears package and discovered this. So I haven't said anything for 13 years. Every time we get gummy bears, she gives me the orange and green, strawberry. I've never said a word. I've enjoyed eating my little lies. Until last night, we had some gummy bears and she opened them and she started to hand me the orange and green ones. But after a few minutes, I saw her looking at the back of the bag. Then I saw her eyes get real big. She turned to me and asked if I've known that the green bears were strawberry. She always thought they were lime. I was honest and nodded my head yes. The look of betrayal was unreal. She asked how long I've known, and I was honest. I told her as long as we've been married. She quit giving me the gummy bears she didn't like. She was even eating the orange ones out of spite. I don't think I'll get any more gummy bear discards after this. Time to buy my own. TLDR I never corrected my wife by telling her she gave me strawberry gummy bears. She thought they were lime. Now she knows and is spite eating my favorites. This is gold. I hope you can both share a laugh on it soon. Might take some time though ha ha ha. Wait until she finds out the green skittles are green apple. The wife here. We even got some Christmas ones that were all green and red for our kids stockings and I said, hey. They didn't make the green ones lime in these. They should always do that. He didn't say a word. We have two kids and matching tattoos, so I guess we will just have to work through this. LMAO this is such a legitimate marriage dispute it's ridiculous. I've been married since 2010 and my wife wouldn't be thrilled about something like this either. She's even eating the orange ones out of spite. You're both hilarious. You've got a great union. NTA. Get a divorce lawyer now. Big red flags. Location flag location flag location flag your wife needs to read labels. Think of what she might feed you without reading the label. She might poison you. Get out now. S. I told my daughter that the pink starburst are licorice flavored flushed. Dude I hear about guys that cheat on their wives but what you did. Only God can save you now. My mom didn't know that a local pizza place gave free breadsticks with a large pizza. My dad had been eating them on the way home with the pizza. For 10 years. There is no coming back from this. And from now on you have to sit quietly when she tells of this betrayal to family and friends. In other words, you get to eat the brown rainbow. Every year, for her birthday, my step-grandmother received a gift of chocolate-covered cherries from her husband. When he died and she married my grandfather, he thought it would be so thoughtful to continue the tradition. She took one look at the box, stood up, dumped it in the garbage, and declared, I'm not spending another 30 years pretending to like those disgusting things. Tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy. I honestly just think it's really cute that you guys eat candy with such frequency over 13 years that this is even an issue. That's cute as fuck. Wish I had someone to give the greens to, I hoard the red and yellows. Till green gummy bears are strawberry. I am actually dying ha 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 this is brilliant. I d be guilty of this 2 ngl ha ha. Before mine and my husband's wedding, all the women in both families wrote out their favorite recipe and put it in a box for me. Seven years later, my husband was looking for something sweet. He remarked that he wished he could have some of his grandmother's chocolate cake. So naturally I said, I have the recipe, I can make it for you. The look of utter betrayal on his face was astounding. He could not believe that in seven years of marriage I never once made it, or even let him know I had the recipe. My response was, you never asked. He was wounded a second time, right to the heart. That was a decade ago and I haven't lived it down yet. This is so wholesome. She's coming for half your stuff soon. This is actually an adorable story. Eating the orange out of spite is 100% what I would do. That's hilarious. She'll never trust you again on any food flavoring.